come to center G, I can find the greatest common factor of two or more numbers. Let's start by thinking about what those words mean. Greatest common factor. Well, greatest just means biggest or largest. Common means shared, like something two people might have in common. And factor means a number you can divide another number by without a remainder. For example, 3 is a factor of 15 because 15 divided by 3 equals 5. There's no remainder. However, 6 is not a factor of 15 because 15 divided by 6 equals 2 remainder 3. So, the greatest common factor is the largest shared factor. In other words, it's the biggest number that you can divide both numbers by without getting any remainders. We have two methods for finding the GCF. Method one is called Listy McList Pants. I have lists on my pants. To use Listy McList Pants as method, you list the factor of each number, then find the greatest number that appears on both lists. Here's an example. Find the greatest common factor of 15 and 20. So first I'm going to list the factors. The factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. The factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. I see a couple of shared factors. 1 appears on both lists, and 5 appears on both lists. These are both common factors of 15 and 20. However, only 5 is the greatest common factor. It's the biggest one. Here's another example. Find the greatest common factor of 30 and 60. I'll start by listing the common factors, or all the factors. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Those are the factors of 30. Now I'll list all the factors of 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, and 60. It's a long list. There are a number of common factors here. 1 is a common factor, 2 is a common factor, so is 3, and 5, and 6, and 10, 15 is a common factor, and 30 is a common factor. The greatest common factor is the very biggest one, which in this case is 30. 30 is the greatest common factor of 30 and 60. It's the biggest number that I could divide 30 by and 60 by and get a whole number. Now you try. I'm going to show you a problem and I'd like you to pause the video while you solve it in your notebook, then start the video and I'll show you the solution. The problem is Find the greatest common factor of 24 and 36. Now pause while you solve the problem. Here's the solution. The factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. The factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. Common factors include 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So 12 is the greatest common factor. It's the biggest number on both lists. You try another one now. 
Find the greatest common factor of 14 and 42. Pause the video, then start it again and I'll show you how. Now that you've solved it, I'll show you my solution. The factors of 14 are 1, 2, 7, and 14. The factors of 42 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 12, 21, and 42. I see a few shared factors. We've got 1, 2, 7, and this should be 14. 14. So 14 is the greatest common factor of 14 and 42. 14 times 3 is 42. Sometimes we have numbers that are so big that it's really hard for us to list all the factors. Or sometimes they're small numbers, but they're just numbers we don't think about a lot. We might have trouble listing all the factors, like I just had trouble with 42. In this case, we've got a second method. Method two, Mr. Venn Diagram, our best friend. Hey you, I made a circles. Let's go surfing. To use this method, you will first find the prime factorization of each number, then create a Venn diagram to describe the prime factors, and finally multiply all of the shared prime factors. Here's an example. Find the greatest common factor of 16 and 20. First, I have found the prime factorization of 16, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and the prime factorization of 20, which is 2 times 2 times 5. Second, I've made a Venn diagram to describe the common factors. And I've put in Mr. Venn Diagram's mouth, I've fed him the shared factors, because he says, Mmm, shared factors taste good. So, 16 has two twos, and so does 20. So I get to feed him two twos, because he's hungry. And then the 16 has two twos left over, and the 20 has a five left over. The third and final step is to multiply the shared factors, because there's a multiplication machine inside Mr. Venn Diagram's stomach. And the result is four. So four is the greatest common factor of 16 and 20. Here's one more example. Find the greatest common factor of 30 and 60. First, we find the prime factorizations. So I make a factor tree. for each number. And I can circle the prime factorizations. Next I'm going to make a Venn diagram. And I'm going to feed him the shared factors. I see a 5 on both lists. I see a 2 on both lists. And I see a 3 on both lists. Now that takes care of 30. 30 doesn't have any factors that aren't shared. But 60 has another 2. So I'm going to put another 2 in that Venn diagram. My final step is to multiply the shared factors because there's that multiplication machine inside Mr. Venn diagram's belly. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 times 3 is 30. So 30 is our greatest common factor. Now I'm going to show you a problem and you're going to try it. Again, pause the video while you solve it, then start again and I'll show you how. Find the greatest common factor of 32 and 72. Now pause. Here's the solution. First we make factor trees for 32 and 72. And we circle the prime factors. Hey, 
Now I make Venn Diagram Man. And we put all the shared factors in the middle. I see one, two, three twos on 72. So that's three twos that are shared. And I don't think anything else is shared because 72, all that has left is some threes. And all 32 has left is some twos. So there's some twos up here and 32 and some threes down here and 72. Third step is to multiply all of the shared factors inside of Mr. Venn Diagram's belly. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. And so 8 is the greatest common factor of 32 and 72. You try one more time. Find the greatest common factor of 54 and 81. Now pause the video and restart it when you're done. Here's the solution. Check your work while I show you what to do. First, create factor trees for the numbers. Then, make the Venn diagram and feed the shared factors to it. There are three threes in each. Then there's one extra three in 81 and one extra two in 54. Since there's three shared threes that Mr. Venn diagram has eaten, we multiply them. Three times three is nine, times three is 27. The greatest common factor of 54 and 81 is 27. We know that 27 times two equals 54 and 27 times 3 equals 81. So next you're going to complete the practice page and then take the online quiz for center G. And to review, I can find the greatest common factor of two or more numbers. Can you?